So that's where we're talking about context, where content and context at that intersection is where the magic happens, right? For sure. Because if someone else is talking about how cool you are, and then someone, either a friend or someone of influence, if there's someone of influence and they see that, that can be a great. Yeah, the best thing you want is when somebody says, hey, I'm looking to buy product X. The best thing you could have is other people say, oh, you need to go to you know, Jane and Sally's store and buy their cookies because they're the best. Yeah. Because I can tell you how awesome I am over and over again, and a brand can do that, but that does nothing compared to when somebody else that, that I trust says, oh, you need to go buy this product. That's, and that's the cool thing about the internet now because everybody's got that voice. People see tweets, people see Facebook posts asking these questions, and anybody can jump in. And any, even the smallest coffee shop can build those advocates up through good customer service. It's not, it's not rocket science, and big brands seem to fall down and forget this sometimes, that provide a solid customer experience, and those people will advocate for you. I mean, everything and nothing's changed about the internet, right? Yeah. It's still small town, word of mouth. It's just word of mouth on steroids. That's exactly what it is. It's just the, the fact of the matter is, is that now there's no, there's no borders like there used to be. You, know, you used to know only your own town, but I travel a lot, and I can walk into any town in the world, send out a tweet and say, hey, where should I go for dinner? And there will be people responding. And it's, it is, that's old fashioned. You know Joe behind the counter, and you like Joe, so you go to his restaurant. And it's just now, it's anybody can find out about Joe. And then the other thing you were touching on is sort of building your community, right? So small businesses, talk about how they can do that. So through lead gen and other things. Yeah, so make sure, make your, make your customers the hero. As they come in and they have a good experience, ask them why. Film them on video, ask them to give you a testimonial, whatever it is. But realize that it's gonna take a while, that you have to, it's not gonna happen overnight. And you just have to build that community, bring them back in, welcome them in, whether it's giving them rewards or just knowing they're what they want. Face it, we go back to restaurants when they know us, they're like or our favorite bartender. We sit down and they know what we want for a drink. That can happen with any business. It doesn't matter what you do. Yeah, and then the benefit of having them come to the blog or capturing the lead or email, then you're able to message them again, right? Yeah. You're almost building your own, you know, uh, either focus group or, you know, the population that you can go back and market to, right? Right, and email may not be sexy. You know, people seem to forget about email, but I guarantee you, everybody watching this video, they may not have checked all the social networks today, but I guarantee they've checked their email by the time they've watched this video. And you can, I forget who first said it, but you live and die by your database. I mean, yeah. I can send any, I write and produce content all the time, but I send out a monthly email saying, hey, you might've missed some stuff. And every time I get people going, oh, I never saw that. Because just because you're publishing it doesn't mean your community's seeing everything because there is a C out there. So if you build that database of customers, even if it's just 100 customers who are really loyal, that's the goal. That's who you go back to on a regular basis and say, hey, we've got a special or we've got this new product launch and we'd love your support. If they've opted in, if they've given you your e their email address, that's, that's a level of trust that people take for granted. I don't think they think about it. You know, that's because you can opt out one click, you're gone and you've lost them. So treat, the, treat that database like it's the most important thing in the world.